Today, we will demonstrate the process of removing the tool steel from an Indeco midsize hammer, models HP 1100, 1250, 1500, 1800, and 2000. The tools required to perform this job are a long-handed screwdriver and any other solid object at least 6 inches long. In our demonstration, we will use a punch tool as a pusher. Insert the long handle screwdriver into the access hole on the lateral side of the hammer casing. Using the screwdriver to maintain tension on the spring-loaded block bolt, position 109, use your pushing tool and push the retaining axle, position 108, out of the hammer. If the retaining axle does not slide out easily, go ahead and hit it with your hammer until it comes out. The process is repeated on the other side of the hammer. With the retaining axles out of the hammer, the tool steel can be completely removed or rotated 180 degrees and reinstalled. Anytime you are installing an Indeco tool steel, take the opportunity to put a generous coating of grease over the entirety of the bushing area. You should use Indeco Supreme 1000 chisel paste in this and all Indeco hammers. As you slide the tool steel back into the hammer, align the retaining axle pockets at 3 and 9 o'clock positions so that the axles can drop back in. Push the tool steel into the hammer as far as it will go. We will reverse the procedure to reinstall the retaining axles. Press the first into the hammer until it is against a spring-loaded lock bolt. Use the screwdriver to depress the lock bolt and push the axles the rest of the way into the hammer. You will hear the lock bolt spring back into position. The process is repeated for the other side. The tool steel is secured in the hammer and you're ready to get back to work. If you have any questions about this tutorial, please leave them in our comment box. If you have any requests for any tutorials you may want us to create, please let us know in our comment box or connect with us at decobreakers.com.